People are always asking me, Chris, give me some tips on selling jewelry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some general tips in general on selling just about anything, but we'll start with jewelry, so here we go. Always, always, always research the company you're getting ready to do business with. How many years have they been in business? Have you done a look on the Better Business Bureau? Have they have they have any negative reviews? Is Google saying anything bad? And then of course, ask your friends. Have they done business with this company? That's always a great place to start. Um, regarding reviews, you have to remember, you know, in general, no business is probably going to have no negative reviews, but you want to look for a business that has mostly, primarily positive reviews because every once in a while, everyone has a bad day. Um, phone research. I always tell people, they call me all the time, Chris, what are you paying for this? And I tell them, well, it's going to be worth $80 to $100, whatever it is. Well, they said, well, the last place on the phone quoted me this price or this percentage. I tell you this. What people quote on the phones is not always what happens when you get to that place. There's something called the calculator beating in our industry where they're quoting you 85% on the phone, but by the time you get to the calculator, you're not sure what you're getting. So phone quotes are not a way to go. You should always go in, stop in, and check out the business. Um, look around. I mean, my dad always said, if you walk into an establishment and you take a look around and it looks like they could pack everything in a truck and be gone the next day, be very careful. You know, you don't want to drop off $100,000 worth of merchandise and be like, well, where'd they go? They left. You know, a business like ours, we have a 15,000 square foot building. We have 5 million in inventory. It would take us probably eight weeks with tractor trailers to get our stuff out of here. So when you walk in here, you think, well, this place isn't going anywhere. And that's where I would say, trust your gut instincts. If you walk in somewhere, you get a bad feeling, trust yourself um, sell only if you're ready that's another thing that we always tell our customers if you're just thinking about it and you're not sure remember when you sell that item you're transferring ownership so if it was Aunt Martha's and you're not sure about it or you thought it was worth a little bit more and yeah I might sell it don't sell it until you're absolutely ready because once you transfer that ownership it's no longer your merchandise and it's out of your control and if you do go somewhere and you get some pricing and people come in here all the time, we're very nice. I write things down for people. I itemize. I do all the things that most places don't because I feel like I want to share information. But don't share that information with the next customer, I mean, with the next establishment you walk into. Because if they look over and they see, well, Bel Air Coins and the Silver Queen just offered $100 for this item, I'll offer 104 Two things, you're getting just a little bit more and they're really not being fair. But the other thing is, you don't know if this person knows anything because they're just looking at a list. You don't know if they were gonna pay you 50 or if they were gonna pay you 200. So always keep your information that you retrieve to yourself. And always, always bring in any appraisals or paperwork you have. An appraisal and paperwork and a receipt is not going to reduce your value. It's going to help us determine what it is. Say, we, say we're not sure if a diamond's a 90 pointer or a carat. Carat size is much more valuable. So if I see an appraisal or a certification that calls it a carat, I am going to move up to the next level. But being a buyer, if I don't have that paperwork, I have to give myself a little bit of room and be a little bit more conservative than I normally would be. So always bring in any kind of paperwork. Consignment. No, no, no. Do not consign your merchandise to anybody. Do not give them items to sell because once you give that establishment your item, your diamond ring or whatever, whether it's because you, they're promising you a better price or they don't have the funds to pay for it, either is not good because promises are not always kept. And if they don't have the money to buy it, ask yourself why. So don't leave things on consignment. When you do a deal, it's, it's for cash or check on the spot. And, uh, you know, one of my favorite things to tell people is if, and it drives me crazy because it happens to me too. If you bring your merchandise into somebody that's an expert or the biggest store in the area, and the first thing they say is, what do you want for it? Or, hey, what do you want for this? In any way they say it, it's, it's basically, in my opinion, this is my opinion, basically saying, how cheap can I get that for? Because anybody that knows what they're doing should be willing to take a look at the item, evaluate it, write it down, and make you an offer on the spot. And that's how we operate here. And we don't charge for that either. When I'm trying to make an offer, it's free, whether you come in or over the internet. 
So again, the last thing I would say is be careful of your expectations. We call our counters over here the counter of shattered dreams because a lot of times people come in and they say, well, Uncle Joe told me this diamond was worth $10,000. Well, I like Uncle Joe and I'm sure you did too, but I have to look at what is it technically? What is the value? What can I pay for it? And those prices are usually a lot less than your expectations. But also remember the converse of that is, even though sometimes people are expecting too much, I get people that come in here all the time and they have their jewelry box and they sort through their jewelry box in there and they go, hey Chris, here, what are these items worth? And they pull out about half of it. And I look at them and I say, ma'am, sir, ma'am, your jewelry is worth 10, you know, 20, 30, $40. And they go, oh, well, okay. Oh, maybe I'll sell it, maybe I won't. And then, I, and then they start to close their jewelry box. I say, well, may I look at the rest of it? A lot of the times I pick out stuff in their jewelry box that they were afraid to show me or they didn't think was worth anything. And I end up offering more for that merchandise than I do for the stuff that's on the counter. So feel free to bring anything you, you have in. Never be embarrassed, never be ashamed. Professionals like us, we're here all day. That's all we do. We love looking at your jewelry. And again, no charge. Thank you so much.